All right, guys, take a look at how much damage we can dish out with this one-shot build. We charge up the power-up punch, go onto the bunny, use the close combat, reposition with the eject so we can dodge the confusion and the stun of the Mr. Lime. We're able to get both takedowns. We end up dropping to the Venusaur, but I perfectly set up my team to wipe the enemies completely, and it was all made possible through that attack weight. Yo, you're watching Shirko, we're back with some more Pokemon Unite, and in this video, we will be checking out an insane one-shot Lucario build, okay? We're rocking that attack weight once again, but in my last attack weight Lucario video, I actually showcased the effectiveness of Razor Claw and attack weight on that extreme speed. But this time, we really want to just maximize our burst damage and completely one-shot the enemies, and that's why we're going for that um, power-up punch, right? And as you can see, I was already able to score twice. I get the takedown as well, and I'm able to score a third time, and the game hasn't even been up for a minute, okay? Absolutely insane. Three scores already. We're already gaining. 36 bonus attack from that attack weight and I get another IPOM right there. I am so fed already. All the bonus XP from those three scores. Again, th those three attack weight stacks already this early into the game is just already setting me up beautifully for that snowball. And again, you, you want to play exactly like I did. You want to go super deep instantly, score the first points, um, then instantly fight the enemies, try to steal one more of the IPOMs, score again, just score as many small uh, points as you can, because again, everything will give you those attack weight stacks, and you want to get the maxed out 6 stacks for a total of a whopping 72 bonus attack as fast as possible. As you can see, the bonus attack, the 36, already doing so much work there. I do so much damage. We're able to get the first takedown. We're able to get the second one as well. And I think I will die to this guy. Yeah, he comes, slaps me with the wine whip. But um, it's already over, man. I'm already so fed. But anyway, before we get into the rest of the build, make sure to subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss any further Pokemon Unite content on this channel. Now, again, we're still running the Razor Claw. Even though you're not going to be spamming as many moves as with Extreme Speed, where you're constantly dashing around, weaving in basic attacks, uh, getting you that uh, empowered basic attack with the Razor Claw, I think it still really works. And here we're going to get our fourth stack. I have the Score Shield, of course. And we are just able to jump away with that power-up punch. Four stacks, 48 bonus uh, the, uh, attack from the attack weight. Keep in mind, that bonus is only if you have the item at least at level 20. That's when the bonus becomes 12 attack per um, stack. Okay, so keep that in mind if you're running your level 10 attack weight, which once again, I really recommend you to do. Don't level up that item too much. But look at this. We get the... We get the last hit, we get the close combat. This is going to be the second move we take in this build. I really wholeheartedly recommend you to always take close combat when you take power up punch because it really just scales so well now. And close combat, they buffed the damage with the new patch, I think by 1.5k or something. And here we get our fifth score. So, yeah, 60 bonus attack. I don't think I have to keep counting anymore, it is crazy. We're gonna max it out already, and it is 6.35 in the game. We get the maxed uh, thing already. Unfortunately, my team lost the Dreadnought fight. We were in a 2v2 pop, I still should have roamed. Make no mistake, this is definitely, um, you know, this is definitely my bad here. I should have still gone bot somehow, but I was just too focused on this 2v2. Well, at least we're completely blasting this top lane, right? I am able to yoink that uh, Rotom with my Unite move. So honestly, we're doing really well. Of course, the attack wave bonus attack will also buff up the Unite move. So it is beautiful. As I said, guys, uh, we'll buff up your close combat. Just I really am beginning to think that this is the best build for Lucario. Um, well, again, Lucario Power Up Punch and Close Combat, or Lucario Extreme Speed and Bone Rush, I believe. <laughs> um, I was I was thinking about Bone, you know, you know. I was thinking about something naughty right there, guys. Don't be stupid like me. Anyway, um, yeah, Bone Rush and Extreme Speed. 
Both these builds are really good. They're both equally good, in my opinion. You should really mix and match. If you're up against a lot of squishies that you can one-shot, power-up punch is better. If you're up against a lot of, um, you know, a lot of tanks where you need the DPS, I think extreme speed is better, okay? But look at this. We can just do so much damage. We roam bot and... Um, are we gonna get a kill? I don't think so. I think I'm just chilling for now, but someone's gonna overstep. He does overstep. We use the... Look at this extreme... Uh, this close combat, mate. It completely, like, half his health evaporated. We get another score there. Of course, this doesn't give us any more attack weight um, stacks, but, you know, it would be really broken if it could go indefinitely. It would be, it would be hilarious, but it would be very broken. And look at this. That was one of my biggest outplays. Take a look at this again, man. We charge the power-up punch, we go onto the rabbit, I reposition to, to dodge the confusion of Mr. Mime there, and we're able to get both kills. Unfortunately, we can't get more than that, but my team follows up and is able to finish off that Venusaur and the Slowbro. That was one of my best plays ever. Mental, guys. You've probably already seen it in the, in the, in the intro. That will definitely be the intro clip. But guys, that was just crazy because I perfectly repositioned with the eject to dodge that Mr. Mime confusion. Otherwise, I would have just died on the spot and only gotten the rabbit. But yeah, um, unfortunately, my team just wasn't able to get Dreadnought, which is really... Um, I don't complain a lot about the teams, guys, but this is definitely one of those teams where we could complain because especially our jungle, Absol, just really was not doing a good job at all, unfortunately. Uh, but it's fine. Again, I made mistakes as well. I should have been there for the first Dreadnought fight. Now we were there for the second one, but it is just not possible anymore to fight this because the enemies are too far ahead. Uh, but we still have that comeback opportunity at Zapdos, of course. But yeah, as I said, I already talked about all the held items. You've seen them at the start as well. Again, Razor Claw already went in depth about that. Attack weight, of course, we're talking about it all the time. And um, yeah, then we have look at this one shot. Man. Oh, this is so dumb. But yeah, then we have the score shield as well, which you really, really need. I mean, the Razor Claw. Um, yeah, just beautiful. The attack weight once again, like I already mentioned in my previous Lucario video, attack weight scales the Razor Claw bonus damage even higher. So beautiful. We dash away through the Mr. Mime there right away so I can escape. But then I realize my Venusaur is being crazy and actually winning that fight. So I go back in. If I just joined him instantly, we could have probably wiped everybody here. But uh, I just didn't expect that. But then I go back in. I use the Unite move. Um, honestly, once again, a mistake. I should not have done that, I think, because I was really trying to get the Rotom into the point, pushed into the point, but I just wasn't able to. But in the end, it comes. Okay, I completely forgot this happened. So in the end, I still got the 50 score. A little bit lucky, though. You know, you can't do analysis of your mistakes by what actually happened. You should do analysis of your mistakes by what was the probability for it to happen. The probability for that Rotom to just barely with the last pixel get onto the point and I can score 50 was very low you know so I was lucky to begin with to even survive for that long but here we go Zapdos is up and this is it man this is the last fight are we gonna be able to steal it man am I gonna be able to get that heroic comeback or not so far this gameplay has been amazing are we gonna get it? We're charging the power-up punch too early and I get stunned by the surf. Beautiful job by that slow bro, man. I surrender because enemies were already in the lead by a little bit and now they got Zapdos. There's pretty much no coming back from that. Very unfortunate, guys. But, you know, it happens, man. This is Pokemon Unite, but yeah, as you can see, this, the app soul really really not a good performance unfortunately it happens you know it happens i had a very good performance so i really wanted to to share this man i think this was better than i think i played better than in most of my victories as lucario with 95 percent of my victories that was i was really bummed out losing that because i think uh, i liked the venusaur i think he genuinely did great i think we had a good laning phase together he did great at that one fight where i was really not expecting him to be to be that strong but yeah as you can see, the damage dealt is mental as well. 
and it was pretty much only me and Venusaur dealing any damage at all, but the Venusaur going so crazy in those fights, I was still able to out damage it. Try this one shot build uh, out, guys. I genuinely think this is crazy strong. Again, this is solo queue thing though, but most of us, most of you guys as well, play solo ranked. I play solo ranked most of the time, unless I'm hopping on Discord with Spragles, playing a little bit. But other than that, most of the time, uh, or with Crashy, of course, but other than that, we're just playing solo queue, guys. So I can, I, I can, I know how you guys feel as well. Sometimes you're gonna have these games where it's just really unwinnable, but this attack weight, you saw how much I was able to do. And because we're playing solo queue and not five professional players versus five other professional players, I can really pull off the attack weight. Yes, of course, versus very competitive, uh, very um, capable enemies as well, you wouldn't be able to get all these six stacks so quickly. That's why the item by many top tier players is looked at as a joke. And I tend to agree for the most part, but on Lucario and on Talonflame, I genuinely think it's good. So if you really love these two Pokemon, I think it is worth putting this item to level 20. Don't go higher than that, man. It's just going to give you some bonus attack. It's not going to make the passive better, the stacking passive. So level 20 is the max and level 10 is something I recommend first for you to try out the item. That's only 100 enhancers. You can try it out on Lucario, on Talonflame, see if you like it. And if you don't, not much harm done because only 100 enhancers were wasted. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell. Let me know your thoughts about this build in the comments below if you do end up trying it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.